A quarter of a billion years ago, long before dinosaurs or mammals evolved, global warming triggered by huge volcanic eruptions in Siberia wiped out 96% of the world's species. How this affected life on land for the 4% that survived the great dying has been uncertain until now. New research from the University of Bristol has shown how early reptiles were expelled from the tropics. They went into the temperate areas and we were able to show that they, they, they went back and forwards a few times as different phases of warming were happening during uh, the crisis period. So the crisis actually uh, strung out over something like five million years and there were a number of repeated uh, warming events. Life on Earth took a while to recover and diversify, possibly up to 10 million years. However, it opened up some evolutionary opportunities, including the first dinosaurs. By digging deeper into the exact consequences of rapid global warming, the study provides some information that could be useful in the present day. The kinds of processes that were going on at that time, 250 million years ago, in terms of uh, global warming and uh, acid rain, ocean acidification. These are familiar to us today. Um, they were on a much bigger scale at that time. Um, but these kinds of things can happen repeatedly on the Earth. And so we need to understand what is the, um, what's the impact on life. So whilst it's clear that life in some form eventually recovers, it's likely to take a very long time, longer than humans have been on the Earth.